Patients who come in for breast consultation almost always ask me if they're going to need to get their implants removed and replaced. Implants are not expected to be lifetime devices. Whether you choose saline or silicone, the implant shell potentially could leak or rupture, typically just from wear and tear or frictional forces. The manufacturers recommend the implants and the shell for about 10 years. So women who are considering breast augmentation need to realize that there's gonna be a point in time where they need to have their implant removed and replaced, either for rupture or for a leak, or more commonly really, what we see in our practice is cosmetic changes that occur. As a woman ages, their breast potentially can look different. We're never gonna win the battle with gravity. Some women have weight fluctuations or even more children. And the more common reason that a woman would present for reoperation is usually for cosmetic desires, potentially treatment of sagging, a size change, their weight is different, they find that they don't even really may or may not need the implant anymore. Ruptures with some of the newer silicone breast implants may have absolutely no symptoms because the gel is cohesive, it doesn't leak out of the bag. So women who are considering silicone breast implants need to realize that the FDA does recommend MRI surveillance of the breasts every two to three years or so. If the implant was found to be ruptured, we're gonna recommend that a woman removes and replaces her device. But it's never an emergency and it's not urgent and a woman isn't getting ill from that. If a woman has breast implants and she's 10 years out, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to need a reoperation. If a woman still has excellent results, her breast soft and there's no evidence of rupture, that woman potentially can continue with the same pair of implants for many, many years. However, it's important that if a patient is going to have a breast augmentation, they don't want to go into it expecting that, even though that is very common and it does happen. For anyone who's considering breast augmentation, in Las Vegas, we do more breast augmentations in this city than probably anywhere in the world. Please come and see me. My name is Dr. Haley Brown. I can be reached for a free consultation. You can call the office at 702-260-7707, and I will be very happy to meet with you and go over a plan to get your breast looking as beautiful as possible. Also visit my website at www.deserthillsplasticsurgery.com and have a look at my photo gallery illustrating expected results after breast augmentation.